Welcome to our executive thought leadership video series from Cyber Talks. I'm Wyatt Cash with Scoop News Group, and we're super excited to be here with Christian Hoff, Director, U.S. Federal Civilian and the Health Team at Amazon Web Services. Christian, thank you so much for joining us. Great to see you again, Wyatt. Thanks for having me. So uh, let's talk a little about where has AWS, in your estimation, made um, great progress over the past year in, in helping to address workforce and skill development in uh, federal government? Yeah, thanks for that question, Wyatt. Um, you know, at AWS, we really pride ourselves in turning our customers' challenges into opportunities to invent and innovate. And this really goes back to you know, one of our leadership principles of customer obsession. And a major challenge that our customers are currently facing is really upskilling or developing their, you know, their workforce. And in order to keep up with the, you know, the changes in technology, you know, it's really important uh, to build an IT workforce that understands what the new technologies are, but then also to stay ahead of that technology technology uh, you know, learning curve. And you know, that's one area where we're really seeing a continued demand uh, for highly skilled talent and specific, specifically uh, with, uh, with cybersecurity. You know, Amazon recognizes the important uh, role that the federal government plays in developing cybersecurity workforce. And we believe that uh, cybersecurity skills training and workforce development are essential to addressing the cybersecurity challenges. You know, I recently read a, uh, a report and some data from CyberSeq and NIST. There are over 700,000 job openings in cybersecurity in the United States and 30, 39,000 uh, alone in the public sector. Uh, Amazon, we recently hosted the, uh, Jen Easterly, the assistant director uh, for a round table with leaders across higher education, state and local government, and the private industry to discuss ways to really develop the cybersecurity workforce through skills training, partnerships between government and industry, which is really important, and kind of creating pathways to cybersecurity uh, careers. You know, as the number of cybersecurity career opportunities continues to increase, it really becomes more and more important to make sure that that public and private sectors are working together to develop a, a diverse workforce. You know, Amazon, we're honored to work with CISA, and we're committed to doing our part to de develop that cybersecurity workforce for you know, for the future, and in doing so, we're making significant investments ourselves to help make it simpler uh, for people to gain those skills uh, that they need to grow their career, uh, including in cybersecurity. And I'll give you two quick examples. Um, uh, we have the AWS Skill Builder program, and we make over 500 courses available at no cost including more than 40 cybersecurity focus courses, ranging from foundational uh, to advanced content. And then those learners who subscribe to that skill builder, they can access security related interactive uh, challenges with AWS Jam, uh, which uh, can guide learners through really solving some of those real world problems. Well, you made a great point earlier that things are moving fast. And so uh, the other question I have for you is, what are some of the other ways that AWS is helping to support workforce and skill development, you know, keep up to date and, you know, with current and former members of the federal workforce? Uh, this is something that I'm really excited and passionate about. And, you know, in addition to supporting public and private sector collaboration to really kind of develop that cybersecurity workforce, AWS offers a number of programs and uh, skills training that are applicable uh, to current and former uh, federal employees uh, to include our veterans and military spouses as, as well. Uh, you know, an example of that, uh, why it is our cloud uh, learning pathways where we offer learning tracks made up of 30 plus hours of curriculum across job families like cloud architect and software developer, uh, a job board uh, that has internships uh, and uh, entry-level cloud jobs from employers really across the world. Uh, you know, an example of that is with uh, NIH, National Institute of Health. Uh, they used a, uh, our learning pathway program for researchers uh, as part of their STRIDES uh, you know, initiative. 
You know, we've also created the AWS Government Executive Education Program, and this is a four-day MBA-style course uh, for government leaders that shares insights from previous government transformation to kind of continue that, uh, you know, that learning. And, you know, at AWS, we're, we, we are, are committed to hiring our military veterans uh, and their spouses and really feel strongly that they represent some of our most talented workers uh, in the world. You know, to help find even more talent uh, among our veterans, we developed the Amazon Technical Apprenticeship Program. And what this does is provides classroom training followed by 12 months of on-the-job training uh, before apprentices then move to full-time jobs uh, within, uh, you know, within our company. And I'm very proud to say earlier this year, AWS announced it made its 1,000th hire uh, through this Amazon Technical Apprentice uh, you know, your program. Um, and then lastly, uh, we developed the Amazon Bridge Program, and that stands for Broadening Research and Innovation for Defense and Government Employees. And Bridge is focused on sharing Amazon's industry best practices and business processes with the military, national security, federal government, uh, communities to help enable them to modernize uh, to keep the U.S. safe. And so those are just a few uh, highlights from various programs uh, where Amazon is leading in workforce development in that cybersecurity expertise across the federal government. Well, it's exciting to hear uh, all the dimensions that you're uh, exercising uh, skill development, uh, you know, across the board, we certainly need it. Uh, Christian Hoff, thank you, as always, for uh, taking a few minutes to join us uh, here at our CyberTalk series in particular and uh, throughout the year and giving us some of your insights on ways to improve the workforce and the skills for federal government um, the marketplace. Thank you, White.